Darren, it was defeat to a strong knock side on the weekend. What are your reflections a few days on and how Vasim responded in training? Um, the team are, are always the same um, this year in particular. Um, whether we win or lose. <clears throat> um, so the, the training's been good. The, the good thing about training is that we've had a little bit of a, an increase in numbers this week, which means <clears throat> the, the, obviously the more players you get towards 22, the more r realistic or you know, more realistic you can prepare with the numbers at your disposal. So we spent a lot of the season with, f I would say, 14 to 16. That's probably been our common kind of number. All of a sudden, you get 19, 20, 21 out there, and you can actually do real life things, coaching practices. <clears throat> and so that's been that's actually been a, a a real positive this week. So you know the the, the reintroduction of um, Wilkinson and Wakefield in particular um, that's been a a, a bonus. Um, and, and when those types of players, particularly in the case of Wilkinson, when they start to rejoin the group, the standard does jump because the competition in that department has to jump because they recognise he's a good player, senior player, um, and we've got to train even better in order to stay anywhere near it. So that always helps training. <clears throat> in terms of the game, I actually, I actually thought we played really well first half on reflection. Um, our shape was excellent. Um, our intensity and our combativeness was was very pleasing, and second half was just a flip of, of a flip of that. Um, and I thought um, Notts County got into some good positions, um, and um, it was then a bit of a cycle that we couldn't get out of in terms of winning the ball back and giving the ball away very quickly. Whereas in the first half we won the, won the ball back and drove forward. Um, so that, that, that there were some key some key um, differences. I thought uh, I thought Notts County played very well second half. Um, I thought uh, Lopata should score first half. I think Armand should score second half. I think Moss should score. So when you when it's you know when it is like that and you look back and you reflect on what could have been, then. Yeah, of course we're disappointed, but we also know that you know we're at the stage of the season where we can we, we don't have to be reflective on a game-to-game -game basis. We can be reflective on a campaign because the campaign's nearly done, um, and um, and always our reflection on the campaign is that we've been um, we've been very impressive. And ahead of the playoffs, do you think we could have perhaps gained a different face in such a strong opponent? Well, they're just good games. I mean, it, it, you know, those games are, are always good games to play. And if you're a player, you want to play in the best games. You don't want to play in the worst ones. You know, you want to play in the best ones. So, a good game, great club. Always enjoyed Notts County. Um, you know, good support base. Brilliant arena to play football in. The pitch is nice. You know, lots of good, good things. Um, and it's a test, and it's a test, and I think you're right. I think, you know, if we if we had our time again, I certainly think if I had my time again, I'd do things differently. So hopefully, if that chance comes back around, you know, I'd like to think the one thing I always do do is uh, I always learn, and no matter how long I've been in football coaching or management, you know, I think you you learn every week, every week. So I think that, <clears throat> excuse me, that's. Um, you know, that could be a positive in the long run if it, you know, rears its head again. Oh, we now go into our final two home games in the regular season, Gateshead and Halifax. What can we expect from Gateshead? They're one of the form teams in the league. Yeah, fab fabulous in 2023. And, um, I, you know, I was, like, I was fortunate to see them live the other week um, at Eastleigh. I thought they were very, very good, really good. <coughs> and Mike has done an outstanding job, you know, a really outstanding job. They've got Wembley to look forward to in the FA Trophy, you know, they've they've secured their status for the for next season. And they're in, you know, there's there's no doubt about it. They're in in this year, this calendar year so far, they're they're the you know, one of the teams. And so but like every team, no matter, you know, Maidstone hadn't won in eleven when we went to play them and it was only in the last ten minutes that we secured our own points. So you can, you can, you know, the evidence is there in this division that 
every game has to be taken on face value in its own individual right and we have to um, and we have to prepare accordingly hopefully the the added players the, the in, you know intro, reintroduction of you know those players that I mentioned is um is going to be a real positive for us and we can hopefully push on now until until the the close of the um the league campaign but Saturday will be will be very very tough and looking even further ahead it might be a tad early but does recruitment for next season start now as it did last year yeah yeah absolutely i mean the recruitment window uh, in my mind never shuts um so even <clears throat> we can, the fact that we can't um, recruit anyone at the moment um, to come in because we're outside of our window now and there is an internal window that's constantly revolving and that means players that are coming to the end of their contracts <coughs> are they going to be um, are they going to be uh, renewed does the player want to stay does their expectation meet the capabilities of the football club because you know I know I've said it a lot that it's hard being it's hard to win being woking and it is it's also hard when you get to a certain level and a certain stage to carry on remunerating the player at, uh, and, uh, and it, at their expected level <clears throat> so we'll always we'll always have a situation at this club um, where the some players will you know they'll outgrow us financially and that means then we have to try and um, revolve, revolutionise the squad again in order to try and create the same impact or the same um, uh, same numbers that we, you know, that we've been able to acquire this year. But we have to do it, you know, in a different way and with different people. So, especially at this time of year, you know, the club has a duty to the younger players that <clears throat> might be seen as assets um, to try and um, re-engage with those because they're, this is a business, this is a business, and I've been very successful in my career with um, revenue from players that I've coached and then, you know, sold. So I think there are, you know, there are some key things, but you woke in for the first time in a long time, um, and I mean that respectfully, um, will experience a situation where players will be thinking I probably can go and play in the EFL, and so we have to we have to manage that internally with how long we give people to make a decision and when and how and it's you know it's a very complicated matrix of um, scenarios. So <clears throat> we um, we are constantly John and I and Drew are constantly in discussion about our squad and trying to renew. We have tried to renew. Obviously, everyone knows about um, Greg Cox. And there have been discussions, you know, behind the scenes with others um, about staying for longer. And bringing it back to the immediate term, you alluded to it earlier. There's a big number of players in training now. How's the squad looking ahead of the weekend? Yeah, uh, healthier in 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 number, healthier in number. Um, we still need, obviously, because there's just some players that haven't played for a while and need fitness. Um, <clears throat> I think most importantly, and it's a, you know, it is a really Big message is that some some players regain form. Um, I think that's a really important um, aspect of the squad and its involvement. Some players are out of form, you know, that, and some are out for the first time. Some are out for the third time. And we've obviously still got players that are, are in form. I think Lapata has settled quite brilliantly <clears throat> with his character and his. Um, uh, his, his social qualities because he mixes so well with people so I think he's he, he's done very well to come in this late having Wakefield back on the training pitch gives us a completely different dynamic you know even if it's as a substitute and I think that you know Wilkinson coming back into it is a big big player for us so we should have we've had one off all, all week again so we've had kind of that consistency over the last couple of uh, two to three weeks, um, but yeah, we should be in a strong place. Darren, thank you. Best of luck. <coughs> thank you.